The thing that balances the sun actually causes a lot of problems when you want to design a nuclear bomb. When you design a nuclear bomb, you want to have everything squeezed together as much as possible. So the change of a reaction is high between the atoms. But when the bomb starts reacting, it starts an outward pressure force. And so there's less chance of doing this interaction that causes the explosion. In an atomic bomb, you can use what's called a tamper. It's a really dense shell like tungsten around the reactants. And this tungsten shell will just keep the process squeezed together just a few microseconds more, causing more and more reactions. But it will break, of course. Looking at it naively, gravitation should just squeeze everything together in the sun. And so we should be really dense and a lot of reactions can occur. And so the sun should explode like an atomic bomb or supernova or whatever. The better gravity is, the more fusion will occur. So the more the gravity squeezed the sun together, the more the sun can make fusion and it creates an outwards pressure. And so there's a balance between the gravity trying to squeeze it in and the fusion trying to squeeze it out. And this balance is called the hydrostatic equilibrium. So if this outward force didn't exist, then everything would just be squeezed together and we could create a lot of fusion and maybe it would go off like an atomic bomb or supernova. Also in an atomic bomb, the concentration of different elements are perfectly made for fusion. In the sun, we have a lot of different products and won't react. And so that's also a reason why the sun don't go off as an atomic bomb.